Hi everybody, this is DIY Handyman Dave and um, I'm here to talk about replacing a ballast on these fluorescent lights up here that you can see are not working. I went up here and I noticed one day these things were not working so I took the light, the lamps out and I verified that all four of the lamps are good so I know it's the ballast. So we're going to change a ballast today. Um, Changing the ballast is really simple, and uh, so anybody can do it, so so that's what we're going to do. No. Is this a do-it-yourself day? What? You think it's a do-it-yourself job? Huh? Yeah, me too. So, first thing to do is take the lamps out. Alright, so we got the lamps out. The ballast is covered in this metal casing right here. It's real easy to take off. By the way, I forgot to tell you that the only tool you're going to need is a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. That's the only tool you'll need. All right, so you'll need a ladder as well. Um, all right, so we just squeeze these like that. And it just slips off. All right, so you can see we got a whole mess of wires here. We got blue, red, yellow, and then right in the middle is black and white. So the first thing we're going to undo, if I would recommend first that you just shut the fuse, uh, um, close the fuse on this power right here, and that way it's there's no power going to it. But I'm going to do this hot. Um, so I'm going to take the the neutral wires, the white wire, and then I'm going to untwist the lock the nut, take these off, and then I'm going to put the nut back on it. That way it protects the wire, won't short out on anything. We let that one hang. Then I'll do the same with the black wire. We'll let the black wire hang. And I'll put the nut on these. Make sure these two wires do not short out together or to any metal. So, so now we got those protected. There's no power going to the ballast, and now I'm going to take the ballast out. Okay, so these connectors just slide out like that. So I'm just going to take this one out. You have to twist them a little bit. You can't see any of this probably. Okay, so the yellow's done. I did, I said that before. Okay, now I'm going to take the blue yeah. one out. Okay, so red was over on this side, blue's over here, yellow's over there. So now I get my screwdriver out. There's only one screw holding this thing in. There it is. It's out. So just take it to your hardware store, show them your balance, and say, I need another one of these. And they'll give you one. All right, so went to the store, got my new ballast, and here it is. And we'll just put it in. Again, it's just one screw that holds it in. This is my problem. It's going to fucked up screw. <laughs> okay, the ballast is in. All right. Okay then. Okay then. So we we've already decided that okay, the red was going on this side, blue on that side. So you pop these little connectors out. A little hole in here. I don't know if you can see it. And you just take the wire and just push it in that hole, it stays. 
You don't have to do anything else. It just stays all by itself. Slide it back into the holder. Do the other red wire, same thing. Now we do the blue. the yellow. Yellow goes over onto this side. So everything's wired up except for the the neutral and the line. So we'll do that now. So it's all wired up. <laughs> black to black and white to white. Always. Point. Black to black and white to white. Okay, so that's it. It's pretty simple. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one bulb in here, just make sure this thing works before I put the, the case back on it. So we know it works. So now we'll put the wires back together, put the case back on it, do is tighten, tidy the wires up a little bit. Okay, we get one side on. You can only do one side at a time. Okay. It's all nice and neat. And then all I gotta do is put the lamps back in. All right, we've got one more to do. But there you go, that's it. It's pretty easy. And uh, hope you guys have a good DIY do-it-yourself day.